It's been six years since Free Realms officially closed, and two since Free Realms Sunrise ended its closed alpha testing. Now, entering the summer of 2020, we're going to take a look at the state of Free Realms, as well as how you'll be able to play the game when it comes out. Despite a period of relative silence, the Free Realms Sunrise project is far from dead. Right now, FRS is in a stage of research and development, with the goal of restoring some of the more minute aspects of the game. Before we get into some of the more recent progress, let's take a step back and look at what was achieved during Free Realm Sunrise's closed alpha. In it, we saw the return of many key features, but the game still felt far from being restored. Initially, all that existed was basic multiplayer and chat functionality. Later came rides and limited building. Although it wasn't very flashy, the alpha proved to the FRS team that bringing the game back to life was possible. The next step would be to populate the world. Without NPCs, an MMO is just a visually interesting chat room. The end of the alpha did see implementation of some extremely basic NPCs with the Christmas event, but their interactions were limited and their presence served more as an experiment. While some people would love to return to Sacred Grove, even if there was nothing to do, keeping the alpha open would have required the maintenance of servers and the management of a moderation staff. Both would be distractions from the actual development of the project. As for those who had access to the alpha, they may receive a few in-game rewards for the work they put in, and if they attended stress testing events, but none of these rewards are exclusive. They're all items anyone can obtain in the game. Don't worry, you didn't miss out on much. The next step forward is the Free Realm Sunrise beta. This will be open to everyone, and is what is currently being worked toward. The goal for this beta release is to bring a version of the game that will keep players engaged. It might not be the full Free Realms experience at first, but the core elements of the game will be there. The roadmap for the release includes support for Windows and Mac OS, removal of all mentions of membership and station cache, all of Free Realm Sunrise will be completely free and station cache will be replaced with a Sunrise cache that you can earn in the game. A few hundred quests to cover the first few levels of every job, working inventory and clothing, Major NPCs prioritizing the ones with quests and important interactions. Basic combat. The coin shop. Collections and collectibles. Full implementation of rides. Better filtered chat, friends, guilds, acquaintances, and the ignore function. And finally, most of the flash minigames such as cooking and mining. One of the major setbacks in the restoration of the game is the lack of official documentation for many of the scripted elements. This is why the return of all quests, NPCs, and combat instances will take some time. As for minigames, the immediate return of some of the more involved games, like Demolition Derby and Pirate's Plunder, are not guaranteed. Although, some progress has been showcased on that front, just to prepare the games for their implementation. The trading card game will probably be one of the last things to return to the game, as it will have to be rebuilt from scratch. TCG was run on different servers from the rest of Free Realms, so when the game files were archived before the shutdown, the content on those TCG servers was not saved. Until the return of the trading card game, the exclusive items obtained through TCG will be available by other as of yet undetermined means. Currently, the Free Realms Sunrise team consists of one active developer, Mayhem, and several support staff. Everyone working on the project are volunteers, and are restoring the game in their own free time. If progress seems slow, that's because it kind of is. At the end of the day, no one is getting paid, and no one can be paid, because it would put the project at greater risk of being shut down by daybreak. All of this doesn't mean the team is not committed, however. Everyone working on the project has put in a great deal of their own time and energy into Free Realms Restoration. The best way to support them is to voice your support wherever you can, interact with the community, show interest in updates, and it lets the Free Realm Sunrise team know their work isn't going unnoticed or unappreciated. That said, let's take a look at the progress since the alpha. Of course, bug fixes have been a major part of this process. Overall, the game should load better and have fewer consistency errors between players. One of the initial achievements made after the closure of the alpha was character customization. Full customization of player characters has been completed, which was a major part of Free Realms as a whole. Development on pets has begun. This includes their stats, such as hunger and happiness, and how they interacted with the world, NPCs, other pets, and objects. Their interactions with player-built items is also being adjusted. Details like these are what take up the bulk of development time right now, as none of this information was stored when the game was archived. 
Fortunately, a volunteer research team has been gathered from the community to work out these kinks by finding video documentation from when the game was still around. Pet trials will also see a return. These will function the same as they did in the original game, allowing you to try out a pet for a short period of time before you commit to buying it. Rides have seen some love since Alpha. They are far less buggy and ride shops are in the game once again. The scripted in-game tutorial has begun development. This tutorial was introduced late into the game's lifespan, but was complex and included full voice acting. Completion of this tutorial is a major goal for beta as it introduces new players to many of the game's mechanics. NPC flavor dialogue has also seen significant work. Again, much of the dialogue needs to be determined from documentation of the game in the form of videos or screenshots. Though it might not seem like an important detail, these NPC interactions contribute greatly to the free room's feel and will do a lot to liven up the world. Work was done on consumables, including items affecting the player, such as transformation items, and items affecting others, such as silly string. The non-consumable items that occupied the same hotbar slots were also looked at, including boomboxes and cakes. The game's map also saw some progress. The icons need to be manually determined, but a lot of this information has been gathered already. The current plan is to have players unlock these icons, such as the warp stones, by visiting them first to maintain the experience of the original game. The NPC blips on the minimap were worked on as well. These two require much of the data to be manually entered. Actual NPC interaction has been implemented. Now you can properly talk with NPCs as opposed to the janky way it was done at the end of the alpha. This feature came packaged with the icons above NPCs' heads, so those are present as well, but must be manually added for each NPC. Housing systems have been greatly overhauled since the alpha. Block rotation issues have been fixed, and the building system should be as good as it was in the original game, to quote Mayhem. Interactable housing items such as launch pads and music blocks have been fully fleshed out and are working properly as well. More complex housing items such as teleporters and moving blocks were also addressed. The mechanics behind these are important to get correctly, as they may have implications in other aspects of the game. Some research into the day-night cycle was done. It's not entirely clear if day and night were the same for everybody on a server in the original game, but current plans for Free Realm Sunrise are to ensure synchronization for all players. The Take Me There Auto Walker has been investigated, and assessment of its implementation has begun. Some people may remember that when selecting a player in-game, you had the option to inspect them. This gave you an overview of their stats and has been completely implemented into Free Realm Sunrise. Name changing has been implemented as well, but is not complete. The game is fully able to handle name changes, but some of the process was done by the website in the original game and still needs to be rebuilt for Free Realm Sunrise. Preliminary work on guilds has begun. They will function the same as they did in the original game, requiring a job of at least level 12 to form one and having a maximum of 100 members. Mayhem has stated that the player cap may be increased in the future depending on reception. Although the mini games that make use of matchmaking, such as racing, won't be in the game upon initial release, the matchmaking and lobby mechanics have been prepared and will continue to be worked on. Job level up animations have been completed and now display properly. Combat got some serious attention with the values for score calculations and instances being hashed out and damage numbers being reassigned. Recreation of special abilities such as the Archer's Volley has also begun. Many of these abilities are complex, requiring a careful framework to be established so that these abilities can be built consistently and can be modified without breaking the abilities for similar effects. The instanced combat engine itself has seen some extensive attention to detail in its restoration. Game elements such as this engine are integral to the rebuilding of the rest of the game, so extra care has to be taken to ensure these parts of the game are done right. Plans for character creation have been announced. You will create your character through the website, just as you did in the original game, but the web features will be extended. You will be able to search for other players and see their stats. All of these web features will also be available with the Free Realm Sunrise client to expand your options. While character creation won't be available until the game is ready for release, significant work on the website has been done behind the scenes. The site will retain the feel of the original Free Realm site, but will be remade from scratch, 
to ensure compatibility with newer devices and mobile browsing. When the new site launches, so will account creation. This will allow the Freeroam Sunrise team to gauge interest in the project and determine the requirements for servers and staff. Now, the big question is, when will the beta release? As of now, there is no set date. Mayhem has conveyed that placing a release date on a project like this would only serve to add extra stress, making the project far less fun to work on. Mayhem has also stated that he may end up releasing Free Realm Sunrise without any buildup to surprise the community. In its current state, however, the project still has a ways to go before release. If you want to keep up to date with the project, the best place to be is the official Free Realm Sunrise Discord server. Updates are also posted to their Twitter account, and more information will be on their website in the future. Links to all of these are included in the description below. Finally, I want to take some time to discuss the distant feature of the project. Free Realm Sunrise hopes to expand upon the lore of Free Realms with an in-game explanation for the shutdown. Mayhem has revealed some very interesting information about what can be modified and added to the game. New quests, NPCs, minimap icons, combat instances, emotes, objects, and more can be implemented. Mayhem even discussed how increasing the job level cap is possible but probably won't ever happen. None of this means any new content is guaranteed to be in the game, however. The primary goal of Free Realm Sunrise is to return the game to its original state. These are just ideas to look forward to once that goal has been met. Of course, no matter how much work goes into Free Realm Sunrise, it will never be exactly the same as Free Realms. All of the items from Station Cash, monthly member bonuses, exclusive events, and trading card game rewards will need to be distributed in different ways. The simple solution could be just to place them all in the Sunrise Cash store, but I think it would be cool to make them harder to obtain. There were a lot of really unique items that you could obtain simply by dumping real money into the game. Now that that's been removed and the possibility of new features has been confirmed, I think it'd be great to see these items spread across the world, attainable through new collections, chests, and prize wheels. The original game had this somewhat with the addition of Sunstone Valley. The skeletal T-Rex ride was obtained through finding the exploration coins for the area, and several pets were obtainable through various means. I personally found this far more rewarding than buying the items from a shop and would love to help figure out how to distribute these items in the game if the Free Realm Sunrise team is watching. Wink, wink. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you liked this video, consider checking out my channel for more. But for now, I've been Atai. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.